Indian automotive sector contributes nearly 7% to the GDP and at the same time is one of the highest uh, you know, employment generators, direct as well as indirect, nearly to the tune of 3.5 crores. We expect to, the government to focus on job creation through committed investments like uh, you know, the entire infrastructure push, as well as continued focus on ease of doing business, as well as you know, certain other initiatives like PLI under the Atma Nirbhar Bharat Abhiyan, which have been hugely successful. Uh, the industry has some specific expectations. Uh, I list on a few. For example, import duty reduction in parts okay, will definitely be expected in case of especially lithium, lithium ion batteries. Introduction of a few new PLI schemes in the areas of safety for airbags. Uh, continuation of FAME 2 policies for some more years. And also inclusion of land cost in uh, the FAME policy for chargers will help increase the adoption. Uh, GST, lowering of GST for a few EV components will help in lowering the overall cost of ownership and will be expected. Uh, on the, uh, from a long-term perspective, EV infrastructure and ecosystem, you know, people will be expecting certain, you know, uh, significant support in the areas of battery replenish, uh, refurbishment, reuse, as well as recycle. And, uh, you know, the battery lending space, which is both for EVs as well as batteries. If I have to lay out some of my key expectations, on the corporate tax side, I don't see too much of tinkering with the corporate tax rates. I think we are fine with the 25% effective tax rate for companies which have moved out of the incentives, as well as about 17% effective tax rate for new manufacturing companies. What I would like to see, however, is reintroducing some of the incentives like R&D related incentives India is looking to promote the startup culture, the innovation culture, and it is important to promote R&D. I would also like to see the employment related incentives limit to be increased from 25,000 to 50,000 perhaps. As regards ESG and sustainability related expenses, it will be good to have something in the budget as India is committed towards this policies.